Hi there, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your full moon reading. Now, um, of course, right, the full moon is the highest peak of energy output, right? So the moon cycle being one of manifestation, we can kind of see the full moon being a point of clarity, a point of culmination, of fruition in some capacity that regards the intentions that we set. Now, um, the moon cycle can kind of be seen in two ways. One is macro and one is micro. So the micro moon cycle that occurs is monthly, right? Starting with the new moon at the very sort of tail end of the previous month or beginning of this month. For us, it was, uh, for this month, it was, I believe, on the 26th or 27th of March. So um, nonetheless, right, the new moon leading to the full moon, both within about a month's range. So that's one ma that's one micro um, cycle of manifestation. Okay. Then you have though the macro cycle of manifestation, which um, takes place in six month intervals. So, and the way we see that is, um, right, every new moon in a certain sign corresponds to a full moon in the same sign, and they're always going to be six months apart. So, when you think of it in that way, right, you got to think back six months prior to now, what kind of intentions you were um, uh, focusing intently on, right, setting into motion. As it was around that time, right, the, uh, the new moon in Libra, that corresponds with this full moon in Libra. So whatever um, was kind of happening since six months prior to now, you may be seeing is coming to fruition in some capacity um, today. Okay, so let's see. Um, yes, it's a lovely time, a lovely time to take stock, right? To really um, um, assess, right? Take a step back and think, how am I exerting my fire energy? Right? Because the full moon is associated with the fire element. Um, that being right tied to our creative reserves, our self-will. Right? And so fire energy, just like any other element, has a conducive, positive manifestation and one that is maybe not so helpful. Right, Fire being tied to anger, rage. But also to manifestation, right? The spark of life, creativity, inspiration, confidence, courage. So um, it's a beautiful time, right? To take note of how is this energy within myself coming, coming out? And we all have fire, right? We all have fire, some of us more so than others, depending on the elements in your chart, um, your astrology chart. But regardless, right? Um, it's, it's, we're all magicians at the end of the day. Right? And the Magician card reminds us of that, that it's that alchemical balance between all of the elements of our being and whatever propensity, right, we have them, right? It's that art of, um, of, um, of working with every sort of um, um, chemical, right, that comprises us to create further. So cycles of manifestation within cycles of manifestation. And again, right, it's taking stock, right, of that fire element that we're working with. How is it, how are we wielding that wand? Um, and so I hope that this reading sheds some light on that for you guys. And um, we will begin with... Hi there, Scorpio. This is your full moon reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's see what is in store for you. I feel that wants to come out. Yep. <laughs> Justice. Sticky. It was a sticky card. And um, the Sun of Cups. Justice in reverse. Interesting. We'll heed that. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I'm going to pull a few more for you and see what we come to here. Okay, Scorpio, oh my goodness. Five of swords in reverse, overlaying the son of swords. Okay, in your, in your, in your theme, in your base. Now, 
you pulled out the tower upright, overlaying the four of swords in reverse, overlaying the ace of swords. Now, I wanted to say this, right? My feeling was when I was going to pull this ace of swords card, it was like, I felt like don't overlook that. Okay, it's gonna be easy not to, to uh, activate that energy, but I feel don't overlook that. The need to communicate, the need to come to clarity about something is imperative. And I feel like if you need to take that first right strike, if you need to make the first effort, if you need to say the first word, I feel do it. I feel that that is going to set the chain in motion, right? That's going to be the answer in a way to the taking down of whatever this old world was that just does not align with you, that holds you in, in some, in some way, that holds you back, okay? And so we have here the Ten of Wands upright, overlaying the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Ten, Ace, end of a cycle, the beginning of a new, um, new chapter. And you have the Ace of Wands in reverse as well, proceeding directly preceding the Ace of Pentacles, and you have the Eight of Swords in reverse, and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, Scorpio, right? Clearly, clearly, there's an end, there's an end. Okay, there is a closing out, there's a realization. This does not work. I need to, right? Titanic is sinking. I need, where's my, where's the lifeboat? Where's my life vest? Right, where am I going to descend from here on out? Where am I going to ascend from there on out? So, where there is this closeout, okay, in some capacity, and at least the recognition that there needs to be, you then step forward, right, with these two um, aces, right, and you're coming out with three aces, three ace of swords as well. But, right, it's like ace of pentacles, ace of wands. Whatever this new beginning is, right, the resurfacing of this situation, the tower, this closeout, ten of wands will require of you, right, to summon up this strength, right, of will. To even remember, to align with why you're making this change, why you're doing what you're doing. That's what will uh, solidify, okay, that's what will plant the seed, right? The, the core of this card is this sort of blazing fireball, okay, which is kind of, it reminds me of the energy that we see on this card. So. It's sort of like, in order to make this new beginning happen, you have to align with your purpose, your drive. Okay, tap into your fire energy. I feel that that's going to be very important for you. Okay, and taking the strike. Taking the strike. There's a strike. There's a strike. Now, eight of swords in reverse. Nine of swords. Eight, nine. Okay, a sequence. The eight of swords in reverse, speaking to absolute transformation, right? Look, you have the four of swords, four, eight, both in reverse, both speaking to a certain sense of entrapment, right? And yet release, release from that box. So, right, it comes by way of us acknowledging the changes that need to be made, acknowledging in the past even, what, what did I contribute to in that situation that just did not work? And how can I revive that? How can I change that this time around? Right? Because I am transforming, right? What, the, the place that I, that I called home before no longer, right, houses me. And <clears throat> with that, you are letting down, you're letting down this propensity to even overanalyze, to, to overthink, to overly, right, rationalize your decisions. Okay? Because if you look at it, right, these two cards are somewhat polar energies. The Eight of Swords... Um, and the Nine of Swords. Eight of Swords is like the chrysalis, okay? The butterfly is is um, just about to uh, make its free scape. There's no rationality behind why the butterfly um, is freed from its cocoon when it is. It's just cyclical. It's just natural. And it just happens, right? Much like a birth. So the Nine of Swords, though, is this sort of predictive analysis paralysis thinking. Okay, um, so where perhaps in the past you you took this approach of I need to analyze exactly every little minute detail, right? Which is a very Scorpio thing. <laughs> um, absolutely, it can depend, right? Depending on what other signs you have in your chart, but in general, right? You're a very perceptive sign, right? And you're you're somewhat cautious, right? The um, the approach that you take to matters in matters is uh, scrupulous, so. But now is the time where you're like, it's 
it's just time. And when it's time, there's no time to wait and think and ponder and right, drive ourselves somewhat insane and crazy in terms of right, our perception, which be, then becomes somewhat skewed when we tend to overthink things, right? So it's somewhat of an illusion that um, the more we think about something logically, that we'll come to some sort of more clear uh, resolution in terms of how we feel about it. But you're like, no, right? I'm like happy to see this Nine of Swords in reverse and this Eight of Swords in reverse as well. Because it's like, no, right? No, I'm surrendering to the process, to the transformation. But it's just a matter of what's going to take its place, right? I'm no longer, no longer um, taking on this approach. This is what awaits me. This is what needs to be set in motion. Light the match, right? Plant the seed. Water. Water, water the soil, right? So, um... <clears throat> Ten of Cups, water, looking over at justice in reverse. There is this desire for a uh, the embarkment along a path that speaks to our emotional satisfaction, okay? That which we feel is going to allow us greater independence, creative reign. But it's faced by justice in reverse. So are you waiting on a decision? Are you waiting on clarity? that um, is outside of your control, outside of your hand, so to speak. It could be legal, it could be legal. But um, I, I don't feel that this is your own energy because I feel that you've surrendered. You've surrendered to this new beginning in terms of how you rationalize through it. It could just be that you're waiting on some sort of say that regards perhaps even finances, but primarily legal, okay? And we have the Son of Swords, right? Underlaying the Five of Swords. So, pending energy. Legal. It could absolutely be legal. Okay, the legal parameters of this change you want to make um, could be what is uh, what you're awaiting. All right? So, I hope this was helpful for you, Scorpio. Uh, have a beautiful full moon. And I will see you guys soon. I'll be out of town for about a week or so. So, I will try to get to your May readings um, in about a week and a half. All right, maybe sooner, but um, we'll see as time permits. All right, thank you so much again, Scorpio. Have a beautiful full moon, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.